This is part one of two of this ice camping trip. Hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And here's the video. Welcome back to another episode of Zach the Fisherman. Zach here. And we're going ice camping. Except for the first evening was extremely slow and nothing really eventful happened. So here's 7 a.m. the next morning. Good morning. This feels like a nice fish, actually. This thing feels quite heavy. Don't lose him, Zach. Well, it knows it's hooked now. What did I catch? Okay. Maybe being wrapped up in a sleeping bag is not the greatest. Oh my god. It's just a pike. You're so close to getting your head up that hole, dude. Get so far away. There we go. Good morning, slime ball. Not a tank, but it's a good morning fish. And I'm okay with it, I suppose. I will measure him. Because I can. 31 inches. Go back home, buddy. <laughs> Morning slime bowl. Got one. Fish number two of the day. And it's definitely not a slime ball. It's a walleye. Woo! Just crushed, crushed that rattle bait. Not a bad walleye to start off the morning. Hole's a little frozen over still. Another one, there's still fish down there, so. Yesterday, I feel like we started off on the wrong foot. Oh, good morning. Welcome back. Zach here. I'm tired. Let's just do a quick recap of last night. Here's that clip. Of course, it always happens when you're cooking. Oh yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at that guy on that tantrum bait. What a nice fish! What a healthy fish too. First fish of the trip. Yeah, that typical 26 and a half. <sighs> Not a bad walleye. Let's get a quick release video. Cooking some steaks. Catching fat walleye. Woo! Now we're all caught up. And I'm gonna have breakfast. What am I having for breakfast, you might ask? Well, I'm an adult. I'm definitely having a nutritional breakfast here. They're only nutritional because they're the minis. The big ones, then you have an issue, man, but. If you get the mini ones, you're fine. Buddy pal. Ah! I don't want to talk about what just happened because I think I hooked my mat. Somehow got wrapped around my mat. And it was providing enough tension to make it feel like I had a fish on. I did bring caffeine with me, thankfully. Because I'm not on my A game right now. <sighs> so 
Second fish of the day. Actually kind of feels like a pike. Yeah, this definitely feels like a pike. Oh, you're just a big walleye. You big walleye guy, hey? Look at you go. These rattle baits are killing it today. Speaking of, that's what I'm using. Rattle baits and a jig and a minnow. And this guy is uh, just shy. 24 inches. What a nice fish. What a nice guy. Let's go back, buddy. No? Yeah? Come on, dude. Just come and hit it. Oh my goodness. Come and eat. Got him. No, I lost him. I lost him. He's gone. That was my 11-11 uh, wish. That 30 inch wally blasting up from the bottom and coming and eat my bait. That was him. Oh, there's another fish blasting up off bottom for me. You know what? These fish are aggressive today. They are not being overly finicky. Another nice fish on that rattle bait. Probably the smallest one of the morning, but uh, who am I to complain? Not a bad fish at all. Nice, because I have finally figured out how to get these guys to bite. 99% sure. It's just an experiment, though. To measure that guy could have been a keeper, bro. I forgot about that. I forgot I could keep walleye. Whatever. We'll catch another. Well, it's nap time. Five more minutes. Fine. Twist my arm. Oh, got him. Felt like a pike. Okay. I'm gonna drop down to that guy. Got him again. That's a big fish. Definitely feels like a pike. Definitely acted like a pike and definitely is a pike. Ow. <sighs> yeah. Five more minutes. You'll just catch a pike. I shouldn't complain. Get that finger out of the mouth. Yeah. Look, it's a pike. Another slime ball is. <laughs> I didn't want him splashing me. Good night. So, uh, yeah, we have a fish on here. Is it very big? I don't think so. Is it a walleye? I think so. Can you even see me? 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a long fish. Boom. 28 inches there. Nice. Okay, go home. Thanks, Paula. Should I continue napping? I'm dead tired. I just want a nap, but I keep catching fish. Is a nap too much to ask for? Probably. Oh. It's a pike. It's gonna splash everywhere. Boom. Little pike. <sighs> I just took a beautiful nap. Come here. And I just got a beautiful walleye. Nice looking fish right there. Look at that guy right there. Twenty-four inches. Killing the walleye game today. I think it's burger time. I think I need to get my socks on and start cooking burgers. <sighs> what time is it? Holy, I slept for a whole three hours. Whoops. I needed it. I literally just dropped this bait down to the bottom of the lake and I caught a fish. It hit the sand and I caught a fish. It feels nice. It, this feels actually like the best fish of the day. And it doesn't necessarily feel like a pike either, which is nice. Maybe it feels like a pike. Bro. I just want to eat a cheeseburger. Oh yeah, it's a pike. Slime ball. There you go, buddy. Pike, you know what, you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me, I'm going to do a little bit of a poll. I've been catching pike all day, well walleye, I've been catching walleye all day but I've been also catching the odd pike. <sighs> Should I set up a tip up? There you go, I'm going to give that about 10-15 minutes and uh, decide from whoever votes. Boom. So I'm editing this and I realized the tent was super smoky. It doesn't look that smoky when I was actually in there, but it was super smoky. The audio sucked, so I'm just going to give you a quick recap. I caught one pike. Oh, I got a fish. Caught this pike. Go home. Then I caught another pike. Pike number 6,000. Then I caught a third pike. Oh my god. And then I stopped filming because it just got a little bit ridiculous and I didn't need to keep catching the same size pike over and over. But I did manage to get my burger. Cheers. And the poll that I did on Instagram was 50-50, so I just kept fishing for walleye. And yeah, here you go.
So this afternoon's been quite uneventful. I caught all those pike. They're bang, 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 one after another. I kind of honestly stopped putting my line in the water because it got a little bit excessive catching a pike after... I think I caught like six pike in the span of like 10 minutes. So I decided, hey, let's chill the hell out here and let's, let's just relax. <laughs> But uh, now we're here, 20 to 6, hopefully we'll catch a fish soon. I'll see you guys when we catch a fish. Oh, there's a nice mark. Oh, jaw jacker just went off. <sighs> Wanna make bets? Is it a pike? Is it a walleye? Is it a pike? Is it a walleye? Is it a pike? Is it a walleye? Oh my goodness, it's a walleye. He actually might be a keeper. We actually saw that guy blast up to space to eat that. Just right off bottom, I want that. Boom. Eat it. He is... Oh my goodness. He is... Going to be in my belly. That would be a keeper walleye. You're allowed to keep one fish between 50 and 55 centimeters here. And he is 53. I want to see a walleye catch clean cook. You ready? Boop. Walleye catch clean cook it is, guys. Beauty. I'm going to go uh, deal with him. I... Should probably go outside. I should probably go get dressed to cook this fish outside because I don't want to grease it up in here Honestly last time I could barely breathe. I feel like that's not good for my lungs. I quit smoking and then I just sit in a tent full of burning cookie sheet <laughs> I'm going outside to cook this fish Let's go Did I just take my boot off and put it back on? I was trying to put it on pants three two one boom I got pants on now. The fish is still in here. He did all that disastrous stuff. You guys want the good news or the bad news first? I'll give you the good news. The stickers in my truck from 2003 are still sticky. Bad news is I cut myself pretty bad. Blood all over the fish, but this oil's cold. Oh. More bad news, guys. The tongs are at the bottom of this lake. I moved some stuff and boo! To the fish's dining set. Oh well, it is what it is. Doing a uh, very simple recipe here. Hot sauce, boom. If you're not using the whole bottle, you're wasting your time. I'm gonna take some of these things, a handful of that, and you just crush it in there. And don't worry, all of this is not food safe, but I'm only feeding myself. You could be a little bit more prepared than me though. So you take your crumbs that you just mushed up, and then I bought this stuff, which is pancake batter. It was on sale for a dollar, so I couldn't really go wrong. Dump that in there. You, now that you got your mixture and your uh, coating, you can just go ahead and take the. F you do that, boom, and then you take it to the flour and you go boom, and you shake it around. And then you can throw it in the oil, which it's mildly hot enough. It's the middle of winter. I should have done this inside the tent. Whatever. Oh. No, that's working quite well, actually. It's actually bubbling. How am I going to flip this? Oh, yeah. Ka-chow! Found these in the back of my truck. Urgh. Wish me luck. Oh. You guys 
ever wonder why I'm ill-prepared? It's because things fall down ice holes. And this is basically the story of my life. Yes! Let's just try this out. Look how crispy that looks. Tastes like Frank's. Tastes like Doritos. Nine out of 10 would rec recommend. Thank you for coming out to Catch Clean Cook Corner. Wally is freaking delicious. Oh, whoa, hot. Wow, you can hear my truck in the background. I need a muffler. But we're gonna get back to fishing here. I can't complain, honestly. It's been a great day of fishing. I caught a lot of pike. I prefer catching walleye, but caught a lot of pike. Caught an eater walleye. It cooked food. I hung up my pants to dry because they were soaking wet. And they're gonna terrify me in the middle of the night. I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna see the silhouette of my bibs. And I'm gonna be scared that there's a human being in here. My heart will jump out of my chest, but I will be okay. <laughs> Let me know if you guys are interested in even seeing this kind of camping content in the summer, where I go out on the boat and then I go home, I have lunch, I don't know, I built myself a fire, B-roll and just, I don't know. Because I'm always camping. I'm always camping. I love camping. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the GoPros. Maybe get some editing done. And uh, if that jaw jack goes off, it goes off. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I'll see you when we catch fish. Whether that be in the morning or in about five minutes, because that's how this works. This is how the fish play games with me. Or is it gonna be now? <laughs>